Eric Reno is lucky that I'm a good friend. And he also bribed me to take Monday off work. He bribed me pretty good. To <laughs> go shoot a commercial for his roofing company. On this gigantic monster roof you see behind me. And I went up there, I got the drone out. We're shooting in uh, 2.7K in aerial photography. I've got my cool cameras out and just shooting some awesome footage. He's wanted to do this for a while. Where is he? We're on a mission to find Eric Reno. In his truck. Not in his truck. Howdy, howdy. There he is. Got a bug on my head. So what's up? What's up? We're on doing my YouTube channel right now. Oh, all right. It's Keith Kelfis, man. We're here, man, working on this roof. So I got him for the day, and uh, we're going to shoot some badass footage so we can start exploding this on my YouTube channel as well. <laughs> so um, tell us a good story. Tell us a story about this roof. Um, I came here, I met her, um, we got it covered by insurance damage, actually wind damage, so the insurance is paying us, speak directly, oh sorry, the insurance is paying us to do the entire roof, um, so it's uh, 106 square total, um, probably take four days, but we're just getting everything going, this morning's chaotic, we the deliveries, the trailers, our, our trailers, so the dumpster, so it's been a little bit of a, just with the driveway space that we have, everything's one lane, so it's been a little bit of a, Complication, but we're getting there. Take us off. Uh, now, you don't have any time to do any physical work because you're running the business, answering the phones, doing everything, right? Right. right. But, but I took today off just so I could be here with you and then with them, make sure yeah. everything goes perfectly. It's all about planning properly in the beginning so that we achieve our goals in the end without destroying anything. So, <laughs> so take us on a quick tour. Literally, take us up on the roof. Can you do that real quick? Yep. Is this job? Uh, $48,000. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go up here, boys. It's a nice crooked ladder. getting it loaded. Um, the flat roof areas we're going to replace. All the shingle areas, the entire roof will be brand new by the time we're done. Everybody's just getting going and trying to get things organized. <coughs> At least we're in the shade. It's supposed to be like 92 degrees today. So, it shouldn't be too bad. What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. <laughs> I think that is uh, what seems like chaos to me. It's completely normal to you. Right. It's the beginning of the job. It's just how it goes. Something big like this. How long have you been doing roofing? Uh, Your whole life. Yeah. Too long, man. Too long. 15 years. Something like that. Started out carrying bundles up on my back. Uh, my buddy's uncle owned a company and uh, he just needed help, so he paid me 12 bucks an hour to do it. And then I was stuck there, so moved, moved up. Oh, that's sweet. When did you get that? 
a couple years ago. <laughs> so. so, for those that don't know, back in the day, uh, we used to do music, and Eric was a rapper. We were part of a. We'd... Yes, sir. Yeah, that was a long time ago, 2007 to 2016. <laughs> so, <laughs> what finally uh, hit you when you said, "I'm gonna go start my own business"? Well, I was a production manager for a bigger company, um, so I was running everything except the sales, really. And I knew sales was my strong point. No matter what kind of customer he got, he'd be like, "Oh, this guy's you know real picky. This lady's kind of you know." in the ass um, and I would by the time we were done with the job they were they, they loved us you know so I ran all the crews I overseen all the operations did all the ordering so I was like well at this point why not do this myself had a little falling out you know um, and then I just took my team and uh, started my own thing so invested a bunch of money into a website and media and production and ever since then you know we've been rocking and rolling so yeah I tried to do about two million this year two million two million okay how many uh people are working total usually about 45 a day 45 people. i have two people in the office inside the storefront taking all the calls doing all the accounting uh, taxes you know all that stuff material purchases i do all the sales at every job in the morning i inspect every single job before it's done um, and once it's done too i meet every customer and then uh I got crews like these that, that do this stuff. How many jobs are going on today? Um, five. Five jobs today? Five jobs today. So four other jobs besides this one? Right. Right. Yep. Yeah, we have an industrial flat roof that we're doing. Um, and then siding, gutters, uh, another roofing crew, small stuff. Freaking Whitney Houston playing on the radio. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> as long as it's not rap music or anything offensive, you know, I don't care. Yeah. Plus it drowns out all the noises of the compressors and stuff. So, um, we're here shooting a commercial for you today. We got the drone out several times. And I'm gonna do a shot where everybody lines up and do like a steam picture. Yeah, we will. Yeah, for sure. Uh, these guys are strapped up, so they want you to do the drone suit shot that you're going to put on. Oh, because they got the harness on now? now? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get down some more drones. Yeah, they only got that pallet left to do, and then they're done, so. All right, and uh, one last thing is, uh, just get on the grind and get it, man. Get there you go. Get on the grind and get it. Don't be afraid. I know the first couple jobs, your heart would be pounding. My first job was a $1,200 job. It was a little 12 square roof. It was actually one of these really good buddies to Sarah. Um, and I was so nervous it was going to rain or something and my buddy came up, put his arm around me and said, hey, we do this every day, what are you worried about? And I just was like, ever since then, just just go, you know? Something like this may be nerve-wracking to people. We're dealing with a million dollar house, pools and fountains and koi fish and, you know, stuff. But you get a good team around you, hire people that are as good as you or better than you, and, you know, you can make it happen, man. I came from the gutter. <laughs> Sweet. I hope YouTube doesn't pick up that song. Now I gotta climb down this jalopy. All right, ready? All right, run it. Three, two, one, go. Hello. Oh, you're in the shade. Uh, Cause the sun keeps moving. You want me in the shade? No, I mean, you're in, too, yeah, that's good right there. Good. Okay. Well, the only thing it won't run is we'll have everything except for AC. We don't have any AC. So if it's hot as balls in the daytime, we're going to be sleeping in sweat. If it goes camping or hunting or what? Hunting or what? White tailed deer. So they will run the fridge. They will run the TV. What? Crossbows? Maybe. Bow and arrow, hopefully. Crossbows for weenies. I use it a lot. Okay, you guys ready to order? Yeah. 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 Get a bow, get out in the woods, enjoy life. You sit there, and the sun comes up, the dew melts, and then there's a deer. And usually I'm waking up. It's after the sun's coming. Are you for me? Yeah, either one. Yeah, you, okay. did, you talked to Bowtech. Um, um, I'll have a um, medium boneless. Medium sized Yeah. And you can choose three flavors 
Cool. I want this music fire one. 